my music here. Gonna go through a quick setup of how my template is set up with um with the Akai Force with Ableton 11 using my VSTs. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and, and uh, of course I'm using my MPC as well. So I'm just, I'm gonna run through this template real fast so I don't have to waste a lot of time. Um, so I'm just gonna get right down to it. All right, right right here we're on a brand new um project. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete everything on there. Start delete this here. I'm gonna delete all these here, the two MIDI tracks and the two audio tracks. I mean you can delete audio tracks, but I'm gonna delete, I'm gonna delete those as well. So all right, the first thing you want to do. Let me close out this menu right here. The first thing you it, it, it's going to you're going to you're going to only going to have one 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 track there because you can't delete everything until you add another one in there. So the first thing that you're going to want to um, add in there is your MPC. So I'm just going to go into my plugins and I'm going to load in my MPC. All right, now I got my MPC loaded in there. I'm gonna delete this other track now. Now, only thing I should have in there is my MPC. And I'm gonna leave all this here the way it is. All right, so now I'm gonna add in eight audio tracks. So actually, I'm gonna add in seven because this is track number one. So add seven audio tracks. So that should give me a total of eight tracks right there all together. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here where it says um, external in. I'm gonna change that to MPC all the way across those tracks. here where it says uh, post mixer I'm gonna go ahead and change those to see how it says three four five six seven eight nine ten just change it start changing them all the way down the line starting with three and four oh I forgot to change this to NPC so that's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now you got that set. Actually, a slide this here up to make sure your tracks look a lot better, bigger. All right, so now you got those tracks right there set up. The only thing you want to do on these tracks right here is set them in to monitor in. Then after that, you want to add in, let's say, eight, eight instances of any plug-in that you want to plug in. You want you want to add in there. So me, I'm only going to add in my reason rack because I like using this inside of my plug-in, inside, inside of my template. So I'm going to add eight, eight reason racks for, for, for my plug-in. You can add in... Any plug-in of your choice, just add eight of, eight of them in there. Got one.
now I have eight plugins in there. So now, I mean, there's there's two ways you really can do this. If you just want to just have it um, going straight to the force, so you can record these here plugins right into the force. Um, what you would do is you would set these here, these audio, this all in right here to um, MIDI, to your Akai Needy network. And then you're going to go, um, of course, you're going to monitor it in. And then you can change this here to channel one. Now, there's a, you can do that all the way going across. Like, I'm going to show you just with this one right here. So you can see how it works and then you can try the other ones as well the other way the other way is just pretty much just leaving it right here on all in if you leave it right there on all in that way you're going to be able to use your your notepads to play your your keys on the force and also on on your external keyboard that you have connected also i want to say at, before you start anything or whatever to do this here um, to make sure that you have at least um, you have your your force connected to a computer with the you know with the Ethernet and also with the you with the the USB cable that goes into the 3.0 USB port and um, what I did is also I ran a MIDI out DAN cable and to end on my interface so I can tap into all the other um, MIDI, MIDI stuff that I need to run Ableton so that also helps as well so um, take that in note alright now when you're when you got these here plugins in there um, like as I was saying like I could, you, you could set the very first one or all of them to um to the Kai Nini network and when you go on to your force when you go on to your force um the first track I have right here is a MIDI I have a drum track but I also have a MIDI track um the way that I set up my template on here is my very first track is a regular drum track from the internal I'm 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 in standalone mode. In internal, um, I'm, I'm running a, just a drum track on the very first track, and then I ran eight MIDI tracks all the way across after that. Those are gonna be the eight MIDI tracks that I'm gonna run for my plugin that I have inside of, inside of Ableton. So, um, on the first MIDI track right here, you want to make sure that yours is actually set up exactly like this here. It's going to be fours. You want to make sure that the, all these right here on every track says remote. I didn't mess with any of that right there, but I did turn on the program change and the bank change right there. Now, when you go to track MIDI 2, you want to make sure that they all say the same thing force remote turn on the program change in the bank but you want to change here change these here midi channels to midi channel 2 and as you go down the line midi channel 3 midi channel 4 midi channel 5 all the way down until you get to eight of them and make sure that they all say force and then you all say remote right there once you have that set right like that now I'm on channel I'm on MIDI this one right here for I'm on MIDI I'm on MIDI channel one. Now inside inside of Ableton right here, I'm on MIDI channel one right there, and I have the MIDI network. I have the MIDI network select selected right there. So as you see right there, I'm on the third track. Says MIDI number. It says, well, actually, it's on, it says it says all channels. But let me put it right here on MIDI channel one. You see how this here this here comes down. You can see all the channels. So as you're going down the line, you got those eight plugins that you just plugged in right there. You can set all of them going across right there to a Akai network 
going across and then right there where it says channel start with channel one and then work your way across going to channel eight now once you do that right there and you 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 you, you only thing you have to do is uh, monitor in on it and um, I hit record on it right there but on the force right here now if I hit if I go to notes and I got I got a reason rack right here so let me open it up okay so this is what I have in there right now as my plug-in it's the reason rack so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load an instrument in there this is what I have right here it's a piano the radical piano that's the instrument that's on this channel right here that I that I marked as uh, as meeting number MIDI number one So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this here a little bit so we can see now. All right, so I'm on Akai Network, and then I'm on ch MIDI channel number one, which same as on the force right here. I'm on MIDI channel number one. So once you have the Akai Network selected all the way across, going from one to eight right there, at the top right here, and then you change to MIDI one going across right here all the way to eight then you go to monitor and then you set your MIDI on on the on the Kai fours to MIDI channel one as I showed you guys it should look like this here on every single track other than you're gonna change the, the, the um, change the MIDI channel it should look exactly like this here and I also have the program change and the bank change turned on. Only thing you're gonna change is this right here, where it says remote and force none. Turn that to remote right there. Once you turn that to remote, and you should you should now be able to hear sounds on the pad coming from Ableton. These sounds, these sounds right here, are coming from the plugin. Let me go into the plugin real fast. I don't want to make this video long for you guys. I'm gonna go right here into the plugin. And I'm just gonna change it around a little bit. Well, I, I, should, I could change it to a different plugin, just to show you that it is a plugin. And then you got your you got it in there. Once you go right here onto the force, if I go right here to a ranger, and then I want to record, I'm gonna hit that into the record on the ranger. Now when I record, stop, go back, play that back. And there you can record any VST that you have MIDI right into the force. And if you run the audio out to the back of the force, you can also record the audio in on an audio track. But this is Slump Music. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll make a more brief, detailed video of this, how to do this, so you can get it totally working with Ableton and Logic. And um, I'll try to do it as soon as possible. Um, just stay tuned. I'm Slump Music. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you guys soon.